points per game, five assists, six rebounds. He's going to have to be critical at the defensive end in this one. Quincy Ballard, Kalu Anya in the middle, and we're underway inside the T-Mobile Center. Arlen Beverly, redshirt senior from Detroit, over to Bijan Cortez, immediately poked away. Active hands from Kellen Thames. So the Billikens force an immediate turnover. And it's Thames who brings it up the floor. They're going to run a lot of five out action. You see nobody's in the paint. They're going to dribble drive. You'll see their chart ch shot charts after most games. It's at the rim or at the three point line. Swope gives it up and Anya finishes. When that defense collapses, you have to have your hands ready because he'll put it right in your pocket. An easy bucket to start out. Washington on the drive. Nice spin in the magenta. A little bit short, and he's fouled. Corey Washington was fouled a couple times on that possession. That's what they do. They put their shoulder down. They attack the paint. They're going to throw a lot of lobs to Ballard, but this is where they live, at the free throw line. They are difficult to officiate. They put a lot of pressure on the Zebras. Well, the Shockers are 12th in the country in free throws per game. At around 22 per game. Can expect some extra minutes tonight from Washington. Ronnie DeGray, the third, has suffered a fractured left wrist. He's out four to six weeks. Another one of the Shockers forward. That's a big loss for Wichita State. And Paul Mills expects Washington to see more minutes as a result. Washington goes one for two at the line. Anya needs some help. Give and go with Swope. Ten on the shot clock. And Hill got the reach in. There's Josh Schertz, first year head coach at St. Louis after three years with the Sycamores, Indiana State. Had a great year with the Sycamores last year. MVC Coach of the Year. Brought a couple of players with him, including Isaiah Swope. And Robbie Avila remains out for St. Louis. Still has an ankle injury that he suffered in the Billiken season opener. Cortez got tied up, and he gets the timeout off. Again, the Shockers are a little bit banged up, too. Roddy DeGray, the third, out four to six weeks. Quincy Ballard missed their last game with a sprained ankle. He's back in tonight. Said so we've got to contain Swope and Jimmert. That's our key. We can't let those guys get open looks. First touch for Ballard. He's got to use his size tonight, and he does. Little baby hook. You don't see that a lot. They don't post him up a ton. They like to ball screen him and send him to the rim for lobs. He does a ton of dirty work, but he shows his offensive potential right there. He is a an elite defensive player, hard to guard. Jimerson's first try, well short. It'll be interesting to watch that battle with Ballard underneath tonight. Listed at 6'11", the tallest player on the floor for the Billikens. Going to be Kalu Anya at 6'8". Size 17 shoes. And here he comes. This is what he does. Hard screens, rolls to the basket, cleans up offensive misses. And now using his size against the six foot six Thames. By that time, the Billikens defense stands taller. Johnson screens for Swope. Three ball try, rattles in and out. They're going to have to find a way to get over the screen on that defensive possession. If they keep going under, Swope's going to really hurt them. Now Cortez traveled. <laughs> Billikens haven't scored since their opening possession. Swope gives it up, and Anya flushes it home. 
He's got all four Billiken's points so far. Yeah, just a major breakdown there by Beverly. Ends up being four against three, and if you're not going to guard those ball screens accurately, you're going to pay the price. It's outstanding penetration and kick. Long three try for Swope. That's no good. So he hasn't found his shot yet. 0 for 2 from distance early. Beverly with a strong take, tied up with Anya down low. Yeah, it's very difficult to guard Isaiah Swope in this Billiken offense. There's the ball screening. You see Beverly out there. He's got to hedge over and stop that. The big man can't come up and guard two players, and Anya just makes them pay. That was way too easy. They worked on defending that ball screen a lot of practice today. Let's watch it again. They're going to come with the same set. 20's got to get over. There's the switch. Yeah, much better there, Jake. Yeah, you see, Swope didn't have the same option he did on the previous possession. Yeah, what a difference in two defensive possessions, right? You switch with integrity, you stay in a stance, and you force the turnover. That's how you do it. It's a really good early adjustment. Mate Bosniak backs down Johnson. Nice spin move underneath and the reverse layup. Senior from Croatia has his first bucket of the night. He dribbled that ball ten times, and if the double's not going to come, he's not going to kick it back out. That was a brilliant move. And getting back together and battling. Such contrasting styles, right? You see Wichita State, 117 free throws attempted already this season, and St. Louis with that lethal five-out offense. They'll just spread you out, get you in ball screen situation to attack the paint. And they're looking to lure you in so they can kick it out for threes. Xavier Bell checks in his first minutes. Beverly's trying to work with Boschniak. And now he's trapped in the corner. One dribble, jump heave pass. Ten on the shot clock for Washington. He falls. Still struggling to get the ball to somebody. It's Beverly and it's short. Kind of a wild possession there. Well, they were going to double the post right when he caught it on that time. They weren't going to let him crab dribble in there ten times. Offensive rebound, St. Louis. Jimerson passed up the look. Names a strong take. Richard sophomore from St. Louis. Bosniak with a nice move and a nice finish as well. He's got four. It's better every time we see him play, getting more and more comfortable. Going to continue to feed the post, and he's playing with a lot of confidence early in this game. Now, Bosniak was a late add to the Shockers roster. He joined Wichita State this past summer. Anya pops it right over Bosniak. Just a good decision right there not to conquer the big fella. Just pull up, hit that little floater, and get back on defense. Rebound Thames. Lowers the shoulder into Washington and couldn't finish. And then Thames gets called for the foul on Washington. Thames so good around the rim, 72% from the floor. I played with his dad about 30 years ago when he was at Mizzou, and he was a fantastic player. So really nice to see Kellen out here having a good season. And his dad, Kelly Thames, who was also Kellen's head coach in high school at Pattonville. The Norm Stewart teams. Jason Southern was on that squad. Wow. Good kiss off the glass from Xavier Bell. His third season with the Shockers after he started his collegiate career at Drexel. He's a Wichita native. So he's back playing for his hometown school. Well, how about the unselfishness to come off the bench, not complain about it, come in and do his job. You want to talk about players' sons. There's Larry Hughes the second. Son of a 13-year NBA vet. Coach Mills is saying, hey, if they're going to hit those shots all night, it might be a long night. Igobaja for three, he missed it. And Johnson tips it back out for the Billikens. 
Swole sneaks through and finishes. He can be crafty and lethal. I tell you, pound for pound, maybe the best point guard in the country. I mean, this is what he does. I mean, Swope coming at you. He's got all the Kyrie Irving moves to step back threes. You have to contain him. And just a magician with the basketball comes up with it, gets to the rim. We've been watching this all season long. Look at that. I mean, how does he get through there? He is a superstar. Averaging just over 18 points per game for the Billikens. This is his 100th career game tonight. His first season with the Billikens, he followed Josh Schertz over from Indiana State. Now Schertz fell in love with him last year. The Swope was playing most of the latter part of the season with a pretty significant knee injury. Rooted his teeth and toughed it out down the stretch. Still ended up fourth in the country and made threes. And there's another bucket for Swope. Euro step hill, kind of a desperation throw, and no good. Wild pass from Hughes. Igobaja takes it away. Lefty finish from the lefty, Joy Igobaja. Sophomore from Nigeria, another player that Paul Mills said is going to see a little bit more time with Ronnie DeGray the third out for four to six weeks. Well, it's just smart to attack Swope. You got to make Swope. Work at the defensive end. Try to wear him out there and just lower your shoulder and get to the rim. It's the foul on A.J. McGinnis. Third foul for the Shockers in this first half. Billigan's up by two. As McCutry into the paint, got some space, gets called for the offensive foul. Anytime you extend your arm like that, it's an easy whistle for the officials. And the Shockers are so strong, they're physical. It's hard to get by them, you definitely can't get through them. Hill's trying to create wide open McGinnis. And it rattles home. They only hit two on the year so far out of eight. But he's their best three-point shooter. And that is a great sign for a team that doesn't shoot it very well. Only average five threes made per game. I mean, you just want the defense to see that fall. Nice. McCautry underneath. Billikens back up by one. Well, the Shockers, 16 points so far. 13 have come from guys off the bench. McCautry's had some space. Jimerson, catch and shoot, short. He's got such a quick trigger ability. Coach Mills, what did he say? It was like Clay Thompson, almost as fast as his release at the scholarship limit Harlan Beverly walked into Paul Mills's office volunteered to give up his scholarship to give it to Bosniak and Beverly is now classified as a walk-on for this Shockers team well, not just an elite athlete my best defender but it's about as unselfish of a play off the court you'll ever hear about in the world of college basketball where so many guys are looking out for themselves and he steps up and helps his team out now uh, Beverly knows what his team needs to succeed and win. I mean, Xavier Bell just was not going to be denied. I mean, fouled hard on that play, does not get the whistle, but somehow he's able to squeeze it through up on the glass and in. Shockers take the lead. McCautry underneath to Brockoff. Back out for Johnson. Ten of a shot clock. Hughes, step back. It's long. Hill got some space, and he didn't get the bounce. Went hung up there for a while. He's 6 of 18 on the year. When he's open, he's got to let it fly. It was great rotation. It just didn't go down. 
31 points against Western Kentucky, leads the team in assists, and he can get hot. Johnson knocks down a three from the corner. That's the first one for St. Louis tonight. They were 0 for 5 to start the game. Well, the Shockers are not a three-point shooting team. They take just about five per game. And the Billikens are a three-point shooting team and a pretty decent one so far this season. Now, both teams have been a little bit cold from distance so far. Well, you know Justin Hill's coming downhill, and there's nothing you can do about it. Just low enough for Fuse to get the fingertips on it. Billikens back up by two. Now Washington tries a three, got knocked down, didn't fall. Ballard taps it back out to Hill. Second chance opportunity. A miscommunication there with Hill and Ballard. Not sure what Hill was trying to do, though. What's well, interesting, St. Louis, they switch two through five. And Swope fights through every ball screen that he can. And Wichita State not able to take advantage of that. Hill's going to get a rest. Hill's a weight room guy. I mean, you just give him a little bit of rest. This guy is so strong and tough. We want to keep him fresh. Swope resets. Got to go. Eight on the shot clock. Kick out. Anya for three. Well short. Didn't hit anything. McCautry a try at the buzzer. He got it. What a recovery from the Billikens. Coach Mills was worried about those offensive rebounds. You don't want to take quick shots. But the Billikens beat up. Obviously, they're not at full strength, but you can see when they become healthy, they're going to be a handful. A foul away from the ball. Johnson got called for the push. Now, the Billikens, again, are doing all of this right now without arguably their best player. And Robbie Avila had an ankle injury with about five minutes left in their season opener. He hasn't played since. They were really hoping that he'd be back for this game, but didn't practice, and he's in street close. Washington, an unfriendly bounce, and Thames went up and over. That's actually the fouls on Kalu Anya. Back to St. Louis, and Robbie, not only one of the better players in the country, but one of the most popular players in the country. From a marketing standpoint, people tune in to watch him play. Brings a lot of joy and energy to the game. And a tremendous weapon in this system. Beverly in the corner. And it's too strong, and Anya gets the rebound. Now, Avila is kind of a point center. And he was a viral sensation last year for a Sycamores team that really challenged for an NCAA tournament spot. They didn't win their conference tournament. And so they got knocked off the bubble on the first four teams out, even though they had a pretty strong resume. Just no room for air in those one bit leagues. It's McCautry. Already had one three tonight. This one doesn't go. A Cortez with a nice touch in the paint. I like that magenta here at the T Mobile Center. Yeah. It's so difficult to stop Wichita State in transition. Even when you're back, they're going to lower their shoulder and come right at you. The foul's on Bell. That's his second. I'll tell you what, I love Bell. I mean, this guy just comes in, wears his hard hat, plays at both ends, makes everybody better, is not afraid to mix it up. Number one in black, and he checks out now for Justin Hill. Kansas, Mr. Basketball, just a few years ago, back playing in his home state.
Now Ballard is so tall, he almost knocked it back in. <laughs> he's fun to watch. He's, he's the most intimidating on the player on the floor, that's for sure. And you can just see standing next to Anya, the size advantage that Ballard has. Hasn't touched the ball yet this possession. That's off Thames and out of bounds. Well, Ballard comes up and he sets those high ball screens. And in that situation, he flipped it. So you take one hit from him. They come right back at him. He hits you again. You've got to find a way to get into drop coverage on him and force a 15-footer. But you're going to take a pounding from number 15 all day if you're a defensive point guard. Four on the shot clock. Inside, Washington, no good. And the shot clock expires. Thames continues. That is a big man slam. Ellen Thames, what a high riser that guy is. And Al Hill from his knees, looking for some help. Swoop takes it away. Another great defensive possession. Thames didn't get the bucket, but he did get fouled. Well, Kellen Thames playing so hard. Coming up with the loose one. No traffic in front of him. Look at this. Coming right into your living room, a two-fister. And Isaiah Swope with one of the best passes I've seen all year. That's just anybody's ball. Puts it way back and smokes it. That's the kind of dunk that breaks one of the panels on the floor. His dad just used to dunk just like that. <laughs> so you're just, saying it, it's I genetic? Mean, the same, <laughs> same form, rhythm, bounce. Love those two-handed dunks. Billiken's up by six. Ballard goes to work. Nice. Up and over Anya. And that's the key for Wichita State tonight. Tell you what, underrated on the post. Going both directions over both shoulders. He is a force. Here they come. Miscommunication. Beverly pushes the pace. And he fights through the contact for the bucket. Just an old school team that gets to the rim, forces whistles. Not going to hit a lot of threes, but they don't really care. They're going to keep attacking, and they force another turnover. You have to match the physicality. But on the other end, Isaiah Swope, you will not see a better pass. He doesn't get the assist out of this because he misses. But look at his eyes here. He just <laughs> slides it right through there. He does have a lot of Kyrie Irving in him. That's a fun player to watch. It really is. Hail high off the glass. Strong roster that have seen action in the NCAA tournament. None of them, though, at St. Louis. They've all gotten that experience elsewhere. Anya hits the deck. And a nice shot from Kellen Thames in the corner. What a couple of minutes for Kellen Thames, right? Lives above the rim, is going to knock in threes. And wow! Oh, Cortez to Ballard. And now Anya with an answer. Okay, Wichita State, you're getting to the rim, making spectacular plays, but you can't hesitate and you cannot celebrate against St. Louis. You're just going to give it right back in transition. Get the sense that we might see. That play and that kind of lob a lot tonight. Now Ballard's not there for a lob this time. He'll try the floater. And he's going to the line. Yeah, this ball screen action with Ballard. It puts so much pressure on your defense. You know, these guards, he turns the corner and you have to help on the guard, but there's no one tagging underneath. Right here, look at Ballard. Look at the athletic ability, the strength. He almost tears the rim down. Look at where his head was. I know. Head was above the rim. He's an awesome player. 6'11 center from Syracuse. He's in his third season with the Shockers. His first couple of years were at Florida State. Put those defensive guards in a precarious situation. 
He sets such hard screens, then he rolls. And if you help off, you're going to eat a lob. Swope creates, shimmies, spins, needs help. Anya looking underneath. Thames bop the window. Well, Beverly did as good a job as you'll ever see on Swope, but in the end, it didn't matter. He just makes the right decisions. Now, kick out to Washington. Off the mark. Swope left alone. In and out. And nobody is near Quincy Ballard in the air. Under three and a half to play in the first half. Shockers down by three. Hill fights into the paint. And he gets the whistle and the contact. Back. Oh. Big sub brisket. Oh, let me tell you. What? Joe's KC. Rocket Pig usually pulled pork, some pepper jack cheese. Their barbecue sauce, which is excellent, fried jalapenos. You can sub it for the brisket. Zane Meeks obviously knows what he's talking about. He also said, go with the barbecue mayo, mix the barbecue sauce yeah. and the mayo. I hadn't heard that before. Yeah. I mean. Now look, I live here. I got to go try that out. I was going to say, you better be there tomorrow night. I'm a farm kid, and when I hear about a rocket pig, <laughs> That's not attention. what you think of? Uh, no, it gets my attention. And the Shockers had some jack stack the other night. Another good spot here in KC. And Meeks was shouting out Q39 and meet Mitch. Arthur Bryant's gates, the like. Can't go wrong. Beverly pokes it loose. And he finishes the job himself. He is an elite defensive player. Made a mistake early in the game on that switch. It probably wasn't even his fault. But ever since then, he's been a lockdown defender. That was a pick six in Wichita State. How impressive are they? I mean, they don't care about what you think about their three-point shooting. They're going to attack you. That was some suffocating defense from Bochniak, but he gets his hand up through the cylinder while Thames was trying to finish. You just love guys with character, toughness, aren't afraid to defend. Just check this read out. Just steps into the passing lane, comes out, coming right into your living room. That's a big time play against an elite guard. Advantage Beverly. Well, that's 12 steals this season for Beverly. Currently leads the American in steals per game. Well, that is in his tool bag. Top 30 in the country in that category. Ames goes 0 for 2 from the line. And the Billikens are now 2 for 8 from the free throw line. Well, St. Louis going to make Wichita State shoot it from outside. They're having a hard time with dribble penetration. Ball screen. So they went to a 2-3 zone right there. But it didn't matter. Corey Washington just attacked it. Jimerson takes it strong. Knocked down. He's going to the line. Now Jimerson is one of the best three-point shooters in the country. In fact, he's the active leader yeah. in total three-pointers made. It's not often you see him pass up the shot and drive like that. Well, that was the right play to make. Five threes per game, you mentioned it. That's number one in the country. He gets fouled a lot off the ball. He moves well without the basketball, but the scouting report says you've got to be there on the catch. So you see a lot of guys grabbing at him, shoving him. It's really smart for him to attack the rim once in a while. Use the aggression of the defense against him. And that free throw was his first point of the night. Now he's got two. Uh, Jimerson's currently 0 for 2 from distance. Give the Shockers credit. I mean, that was one of their keys. Swope and Jimerson, they had to keep them under control. You can't shut them out, but you just don't want them to go off for 40. Well, those two are currently a combined 0 for 5 from behind the arc. 90 seconds to play in the first half. Hill hangs. Ballard's right there for the putback. Yeah, two decent possessions with the zone defense, but again, Wichita State just attacks the paint. They don't care. They clean up the mess. Now 
Now a chance to widen the lead. The Shockers have hit seven of their last nine. Beverly up and over Anya. Ball bounces to Thames. Strong take against Cortez. And a whistle. And it's against Cortez. So Thames to the line. He missed his last two free throws. Well, he hadn't missed all season, so he'll knock these two in, but he's relentless in the open court. Attacking the paint, lowers his head. Now he can't buy one from the stripe right now. He's now 0 for 5 from the free throw line tonight. Well, those are big. Those are big misses. Well, like you said, he'd come in 6 for 6 this season. Long three for Hill. Too strong. Swope chases it down. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Jimerson looking for Anya. Shockers take it away again. Hill's got numbers. Float for Washington. And Anya gets between them. It's off Anya, stays with Wichita State. I'll tell you what, just watch Beverly playing defense. I mean, he's guarding the ball. Look at this. Then leaves, picks up a teammate. It's just fun to watch him play. He's outstanding. Lob for Ballard. Three seconds. Hill got space. Let's fly. It's short. And that's the end of the first half. Now the Shockers take a 40 to 37 lead at the break. The Billikens did not hit something that Josh Schertz hopes needs to change if the Billikens have a chance in the second half. Wichita State doing as good of a job as you'll ever see on those two. Cortez starts the scoring in the second half. Swope, open three try, and it's short. So Swope's now 0 for 3 from beyond the arc. Well, that's as open as he's going to be all season long. He just left that way short. Nice behind the back move. Hill spins, body into Swope, up and no good on the roll. Washington, the offensive rebound, and he's fouled. Well, Hill just puts so much pressure on your defense. He's relentless. He keeps coming at you. He can take the hit. Right now, St. Louis having a hard time keeping the Shockers out of the paint. The help on the opposite side. Leave shooters open. Make Wichita State prove that they can hit a few. It's getting too, too deep into the rim. To, to the rim. And good for season with the Shockers. Eighth season overall as a head coach. He also spent six years at Oral Roberts. Right now this game is going according to script for him. That's a great reverse from Beverly. You're not kidding. I mean, getting to the rim, getting to the free throw line, and their defense has been outstanding on Jimerson and Swope. Right now if you're saying that you've got to find a way to get 24 and open three. You've got to run stagger screens at him. Swope's got to make that one count. And Swope does not have a make from distance. Now 0 for 4. Some quick shots. We get the blocking foul, but the Billikens have to find Jemerson. Stagger screens at him, some floppy sets, somehow, some way to get him a little bit of space. The number one three-point shooter of the country is what, 0 for 3 from the floor? 0 for 3 from the floor, 0 for 2 from beyond the arc. So the two big three-point shooting weapons for the Billikens haven't been weapons so far tonight. Cortez thought about it. Now he takes it and he hits it. Now the Shockers are not known for their three-point shooting, but they've got a couple from distance tonight. 
And the Shockers are up by 10. One for five from beyond the arc coming into this game. And obviously, if they hit eight, nine, ten threes in a game, there's the shot they've been looking for. Almost down. Wichita State's going to hit open threes. They're going to be tough to beat. In and out for Jimerson. Now he's 0 for 3. Beverly, pop, short, Anya, rebound. Off to Swope, and the Billikens looking for an answer. Anya penetrates, gives it up, got fouled. All right, they only hit five threes a game, but if the Shockers do start knocking these shots down all season long, I'll tell you what, you're going to have to earn it. There's the dribble penetration. That's a good collapse by St. Louis. You, you want to stop that, but the rotation was pure. It was a confident shot. 10 point lead has been all shockers late in the first half and at the beginning of this second half. Still can't forget about number 24. You got to keep coming back to him. Swope got tripped up by Cortez. St. Louis plays this five out action, read and react, drive and kick, but somebody's going to have to lay some hard screens on Justin Hill to get Jimerson some space. He can get you right back in this game. Cortez checks out. He's got three fouls now. So does Kalu Anya for St. Louis. Swope around the Anya screen, trying to go back to him. Hill takes it away. And now Hill gets tripped up, and the ball rolls wide. Jimerson thought it was off of the Shockers. That's why he let it go. But it was off the Billikens. It stays with Wichita State. Anytime you have a chance to secure the basketball, you always want to get it. You never want to leave it in the hands of the official. That would have been a tough one to get, but if he had a chance, you got to grab it. Bell lowers the shoulder, spins, baseline jumper, and a whistle. That's on Kobe Johnson. Tell you what, I cover a lot of Big Ten, some Big East, a lot of Mountain West. I have not watched a team play like Wichita State. It's about as physical time. as it gets. I mean, they just play bully ball on every other possession. All of these guards will post up, they attack the rim, they're not afraid of anybody, and they take a tremendous amount of pride defensively. You got to tip your hat, Coach Bills and this squad. I mean, they're not they're not going to shoot you out of the game. But they don't really care. Oh, they've got the size to punish you. Yeah, that's what they do. That's well said. They punish you. Strong take for Anya. Now he's going to the line. Foul on Boschnia. Kind of game this has been. A lot of contact, a lot of whistles, a lot of free throws. Anya hits his. And we've now seen 20 combined free throws. Anya's an elite rebound. He's already got five in this game. Pulls down 11 a game. He's not afraid of the contact. Those were two important makes at the line. Billikens are now six for 13. From the strike. Boschniak palms the ball. Shoulder down into Anya. Shoulder down again. Spins underneath. Hughes is trying to pick his pocket. Boschniak can't get it away. McCutry coming back down the floor. And now he kicks it loose. Igovica back into the paint. No basket. And a foul against St. Louis. Hughes gets called for the block. Yeah, missed opportunity for the Billikens and had to spread back on defense. And again, you know what's coming, and there's not much you can do about it. This is a team 16th in the country 
in free throw attempts, 30 a game. 11th in the country in free throws made at 23. And they just force whistles. That was the first free throw that Igobaja has had this season. He's a sophomore from Nigeria. Well, last year, as a freshman, his best game came against St. Louis. Seven points, five rebounds, four steals. He stuffed the stat sheet against the Billikens. Shockers came away with that one. The Shockers have won six straight over St. Louis. Mm. Travel on Thames. I'll tell you what, Harlan Beverly is just wrecking the game plan for the Billikens. He's blowing up every play. They cannot get Jimerson touches. He's fighting through these screens. It forces another turnover. St. Louis going to have to find a way to pick him off. You got to run two guys at him. Shockers have opened up an 11 point lead, their largest of the game. Bell lost the handle. Cortez from the corner just missed it. Nearly had his second three of the game. Thames all alone, but it's short. And the Billikens are now three for 16 from beyond the arc tonight. Igovaja streaking on the baseline. I'll tell you what, Harlan back the game is exactly what the doctor ordered. You know what? Hey, there's nothing wrong with playing a different style than everybody else. It's worked out so far for Wichita State. And the Billikens have not had an answer and they have had an off shooting night. Jimerson needs a three. It's short and Beverly the rebound. I'll tell you what, we keep talking about Beverly, but he just guarded three different guys right there. Scared the shot at the rim for a long three. And it's like there's two of him on the court right now. He is everywhere. My goodness. Just spectacular. Bell fights through the contact inside. Doesn't get the bounce. But it falls to Igobaja. And now Beverly settles it back for the Shockers. His second season at Wichita State. After a few years at the University of Miami. Went to the Final Four with the Canes. His senior season. Four on the shot clock. Bell from the wing. It's short. The Billikens were looking for a rebound. They got it from Thames. And Igobaja got tangled up with Thames. That's an unlucky whistle. Yeah, it's the right call. Again, keep your eye on Jemerson. Watch how Wichita State is guarding him off the ball. And that's really been the story of this game. The inability to get him open looks. Wow, that's a quick shot. Swope misses. Bell takes. He misses. Now back to Swope. Now Swope and Jimerson are combined 0 for 10 from beyond the arc. But that is a big make, an important one from Larry Hughes, the second. Still a 10 point deficit from the Billigans, but sometimes you see one shot fall yeah. and the rest follow. Good call, partner. I mean, they desperately needed that one to go down. Good defense on Boschniak. Hughes got called for the foul. He's saying it was all ball. That's Hughes' third foul. I'll tell you what, with the way this game has been called, <laughs> I thought they'd definitely let that one go, right? He spins right into the traffic. Here it is coming at you. Spins into the traffic. Nowhere to go. Yeah, a little contact, but in this game, play on. I feel like we've seen a little yeah. bit more contact on other possessions earlier tonight. Right. McGinnis got free. That's a pretty jumper from A.J. McGinnis. Just a perfect screen. Right at the elbow. Loses his defender and knocks it in. Thames all alone underneath.
Ames has 11. So does Kalu Anya. That leads all scorers. Underneath, Boschniak tangled up. So Boschniak's going to the line. Keep your eye on Kellen Thames right here. Just a great read with this ball screen. Comes up, just slips it, right? Right to the basket, just has such a feel for the game. And when he gets it that close, obviously it's lights out. He's been very impressive early in the season. Boschniak's one for one from the line. Well, five points for him. He's two for two from the field. So overall, he's 10 for his last 13 from the field. No need to panic if you're St. Louis. You don't want to come down and start launching. Continue to let everybody touch it. Move to side to side. Run this five out. Try to break this defense down and attack the paint and kick it out. Just like that. That's beautiful. Kick out Thames. Too strong. Hill shot fake. That went off the underside of the backboard. At least it looked like it. McCotry gets called for the foul. So many battle tested Warriors on Wichita State. And no one tougher than Hill. If you beat these guys this year, you're going to earn it. And you're going to come out of there bruised up. They are as physical of a team as I've seen play this year. Now Hill is now 5 for 5 from the free throw line. He's 2 for 11 from the field, including 0 for 4 from beyond the arc. But again, you've talked about it. This is a Shockers team that shoots as many free throws as just about anybody. Hill's now 6 for 6. He's 26 of 33 this year in five games. <laughs> it's a skill. It tells you a lot about a player, right? It's just, it's incredible. And you cannot simulate this in practice, right? You can talk about a team being tough and physical, but they'll go again. they're going to keep coming right at you. McGinnis lets fly. Oh, Hill is flying in himself. He gets it back in the corner. It's short. It's a couple of chances on one possession for Wichita State, and now they're going to have another chance, another takeaway for the Shockers. This is relentless defense turning into offense. McGinnis hits. Well, the Shockers are unstoppable right now. Up by 17. He said our number one key, we got to find Swobes and Jimerson. We've got to at least contain them. Well, how about two for 15 from the floor and 0 for 10 from beyond the arc? That's been the story of this game. In and out for Johnson. The Billikens are now four for 21 from behind the arc. It's not as if the Shockers have been that much better. Three for 17. Now, both teams are still shooting nearly 50% from the floor anyway. Tells you how efficient they've been from the paint. Uh, the Shockers have been much better in the paint. 34 points in the paint to 20 for St. Louis, and there's two more for Justin Hill. Swope tries to split some defenders, and Bell gets called for the foul. We talked about Justin Hill's ability to get downhill, and Look at that, it just blows right by Hughes, takes the hit. He is so strong, so crafty, and that's what the scouting report says he does, and there's nothing they can do about it. Swole from the corner, and that one missed badly. It has been that kind of night for St. Louis. Hughes off the roll and he misses. 
And the Billikens haven't scored for nearly three minutes now. Bozniak up and under. Couldn't finish. Now Johnson gets a little help from the official. Stayed in bounds. And now Swope lets fly, but off the mark again. He's now 0 for 8. 2 for 17. For the two St. Louis Stars. And to your point, from distance, they're combined 0 for 12. Well, Wichita State just broken their will offensively. With St. Louis forcing shots, not moving it side to side, launching tough threes. And this guy right here is just taking over the game. Got it off before the shot clock expired. Billigan's down by 19. Uh, Jimerson thought about it, and he tried to drive, got the shoulder into Bell. That's Bell's fourth foul, and well, he knew immediately that he was headed to the sideline. Jimerson shooting one and one. Both teams are in the bonus now. That's the other difference right now in this game, Jess, is the free throw shooting. The Shockers, 12 of 14. And the Billikens, 7 of 14. Yeah, points so hard to come by on a night when you're not shooting it well from the floor. You have to be able to knock him in from the free throw line. Another one right there. But you just rarely see Swope and Jimerson taken out of a game like this. I mean, all credit to Wichita State. And they just keep pounding it at you with the dribble, the bounce pass. So fundamental. It is hard-nosed, clean, and tonight it has been formulaic from Wichita State. Another miss for Swope, a second chance, and that one's good. St. Louis, you're going to have to start pressuring the basketball, some full-court action here. You're going to have to take a few risks at the defensive end. And hope you start to catch fire late. They're capable of doing that, but just right now, no sign of a letdown defensively by Wichita State. Jimerson, a wide open look, and he missed it. Gets his own rebound, and he missed that. And it has been that kind of night for St. Louis. Boy. And it has been that kind of night for Wichita State. Jimerson gets a wide open three and then a wide open layup. Misses it. And you're exactly right. Wichita State, they come back and just punish you for your mistakes. And I'm not sure anybody saw this score coming with 7.53 to go. A 20-point lead for the Shockers. St. Louis fans shocked in this arena. Can't believe they've only been able to come up with 49 points. Is that pun intended, Jess? Yes. You're smiling. I know it is. <laughs> and the Shockers keep pouring it on. That's another three ball for Bichon Cortez. His second triple of the night, he's got 10 points. That's hard contact with Jimerson and Corey. I'm gonna grind these next three minutes and put this thing out of reach, and if you're the St. Louis Billikens, obviously, you're going to have to hit a ton of threes. So this is the time of game where you're going to pull up on the fast break, maybe string three or four together and get back in it. Another foul for shot for Gibson Jimerson. It's five for six from the stripe. All five of his points have come from the foul line.
Ballard spins, pops. No good. A juggle for the board. It comes down to Kalu Anya. I missed that one, but I've been impressed with his footwork in this game and his post-up game. And now he stands tall defensively. Anya gets the putback on the second opportunity. Anya just challenged him. I mean, may have been fouled, but went straight back up with it. Looks like Ballard had to tweak something on that play. Now he is coming off of a sprained ankle. He didn't play in the Shockers' last game against Monmouth. Meanwhile, Jazz for the Billikens, Kalu Anya has been a bright spot tonight. 15 points, 9 rebounds, 6 for 8 from the field. He gets 11 rebounds per game, so he's been the one guy for St. Louis who's been able to match the physicality of the Shockers. Everybody else has struggled with it. Thames is at the line after Cortez commits the foul. That's the fourth on Cortez. It's interesting, the last couple years with the changes to the block charge call, they, the rules committee wants defensive players to go up to the rim and challenge shots. They don't want guys sliding under anymore, flopping, taking people out. And that's an advantage for Wichita State because they get downhill and attack the rim, and you can't just fall on the ground and beg for the whistle. You have to try to challenge up the rim and physically, it's almost impossible to do. There's just another example where they just play bully ball and keep coming at you. I mean, there's a perfect example, right? In the past, that's probably called a charge. Yeah. But now, you've got to be completely set when that launch foot goes onto the floor, and they rarely call it anymore. And shockers are going to continue to pray to the line, and they just lower the I'm surprised more teams don't do it. You know, so many point guards now just pull up and take bad threes. These guys just lower their shoulder. It's been a quieter night for Corey Washington. He's only got three points, one of six from the field. He had a team high 20 points for the Shockers in their win over Monmouth. And really, Washington won them the game. A late three to give the Shockers a lead with about 90 seconds left. I think what he had 19 second out points against you and I and went on an 8 0 run by himself. Jimerson finally hits from distance. He wasn't going to be locked out all night. Well, the Billikens are going to need a lot more of that and quickly over the last five and a half minutes. Washington, strong rebound, stronger take. That is just a weight room effort by Corey Washington to snatch that from the entire St. Louis team and then take it up strong. And they have just been the more physical, tougher team this entire second half. Well, they haven't just exerted their will. Yes, they have imposed their will this entire game. I didn't see this coming. No. It has been really impressive. And now Hill gets in on the action. Swope got tripped up. Corey Washington. You know, right on cue. Just look at that rebound. Takes on two of them. Goes up. Finger roll. Takes the hit. And Hill at the other end. <laughs> Just knocking it down. That's a good looking shot. He's capable of that. Came in at 33%. But if you're a Wichita State fan, you got to get season tickets here. Sell that thing out. This is an interesting team to watch. There's going to be a lot of battles. A lot of close games. But these kids put the effort on the floor for 40 minutes and they are relentless in the paint and they return three starters this year Quincy Ballard Harlan Beverly Bijan Cortez a few transfers also added Mate Boschniak Shockers were picked to finish fourth in the American this season it's the highest they've been projected to finish in the preseason since 2021 well, like we said if you beat them you're gonna earn it 
Now Washington has made the Billikens earn it all night. And Washington has come out on top more times than not. I mean, Justin Hill is just going to get downhill again. I mean, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, that's just, you could sense that from the time he brought it across half court. That's just a mismatch. 17 for Justin Hill to lead all scorers. Hill again gives it up to McGinnis, who got bumped in the paint. And so McGinnis is going to the stripe. So there are some key players missing for St. Louis, and that has certainly contributed to what we're seeing tonight. Absolutely. I mean, they're going to have a fantastic season when they get healthy. Such a dynamic offense. But Schertz you know, wins about 80% of his games. And it was interesting. He gathered his team together today on the practice court there, and he said, hey, this is a great opportunity for us tonight to build toughness. Because he said no one's going to be tougher than Wichita State. And, you know, a lot of lessons learned in this game. But they were challenged, and the Shockers just keep coming at you. And you know, the real story of the game was the ability to take Swope and Jemerson both out of this game at the offensive end. And you just have to give them a ton of credit for that. And neither of the two, Swope nor Jemerson, are on the floor right now. Max Picard is getting some minutes. Washington strong take McCautry stuffed him enough for a jump ball The possession arrow goes back to the Billikens Isaiah Swope tonight six points three for 14 from the field 0 for 8 from beyond the arc Gibson Jimerson eight points one for nine from the field one for seven from behind the arc uh, Jimerson did hit five free throws The three-point shooting or lack thereof has been the story for St. Louis tonight. Six for 28 from beyond the arc. And when that's part of the formula, it's tough to win when it's not clicking. More free throws for Wichita State. Yeah, how about every shocker who comes into the game? Just attacks the rim, <laughs> right? Ball reversal with the defense going one way and another free throw. This is Zion Pipkin, freshman from Houston. He's one of two true freshmen on the Wichita State roster. And now Henry Thingball checks in. Local kid, he's from Wichita. He's a preferred walk-on. Shockers fans are giving him some Henry chance. Rebound Beverly. Under two minutes to play. Cross court, Pipkin, a little bit short. Hughes, another try. Off the mark. Billikens six for 30 from distance. And now more free throws for Wichita State. Deja vu all over again, Jess. Yeah. Right, it's Groundhog Day on every possession. It's just a physical defensive possession. You get the rebound, and if you don't get back, it's going to be lights out. Coach Schertz talked about transition defense being critical, but it really has been the physicality and toughness at both ends of the court for the Shockers. The defense, no one shuts down Swope and Jemerson like that. No one has ever done it, and no one will do it again. So that's just one of those tapes that you can be very proud of. The film session is going to be outstanding for Wichita State. And if you're St. Louis, got to find a way to be more patient when things get bad. You got to make the extra pass, set better screens. Obviously, they missed some open ones, but. Once Beverly started locking down 
Jemerson and just took their confidence away. Larry Hughes fouled out. Line change now for Wichita State. Harlan Beverly gets a nice ovation from the Shockers here in Kansas City. Giannis Bamba sees his first action tonight. And give the Shockers credit, too. They have taken advantage of every opportunity the Billikens have given them. And the Shockers are 18 of 22 from the foul line tonight. They've forced 13 turnovers. They've scored 21 points off of those turnovers. And that combined with the Billikens' cold shooting has amounted to a 20-point lead with one minute left in Kansas City. Thing ball passed up the three, floats it, left it long. He's looking for his first bucket. And they're not stopping, Jess. Washington is still going strong to the cup, still going to the line. This is a full 40-minute suffocation. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going to have to get to one of their practices, right, because obviously they are teaching this style about getting to the rim. It takes a lot of drill work. You just don't find 10 guys who just happen to come in who can drive the basketball. I mean, it's something they work on a ton. They're not even concerned about. In this modern era of hitting a ton of threes, they're not even concerned about making threes. I mean, they're going to hit five or six some nights. But they just feel like they couldn't care less about the analytics. They're just, we're going to attack you, we're going to force whistles, and we're going to pray to the free throw line. And then we're going to lock you down at the defensive end. And with 30 seconds left, everybody coming in the game has the same mentality. Another takeaway. Washington straight to the cup gets the bucket and the foul an exclamation point for Wichita State Every single shocker in a stance Hansy look at this coming up with the loose ball Attacking the rim no use pulling it out Finish it strong. Wow, this is impressive That sequence the steal the take the finish, the contact, the foul shot. That is what the Shockers have done all night and what they hope to do all season long. They have come to Kansas City and they have impressed. A standing ovation and they deserved it. This is an impressive of a win as I've seen all year and just took it at an elite offensive team.